Hi daily fourth graders. Today's lesson we are going to go over 612 and 613. We're going to be using our knowledge of fractions to help us add decimals with tenths and hundredths. Before we get started, make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil out in front of you so you can follow along. But before we really dive in, there's something that I want to review a little bit. Um, so here I have a place value chart with ones, tenths, and hundredths. Um, so my question to you is, if I have two tenths, and I'm actually going to write it as a fraction as well. If I have two tenths, my question to you is, how many hundredths do I have? Hmm. If I have two tenths, how many hundredths would I have? For a moment, I want you to think about how we could use our place value chart to show how many hundredths is equivalent to two tenths. So we know in our place value chart um, that each of these tenths can be decomposed, right? So I'm going to take my first tenth. If I decompose this into hundredths, how many hundredths will I have? Again, if I decompose this tenth into hundredths, how many hundredths would that give me? You're right, it would give me ten hundredths. Okay, so one tenth is ten hundredths. I'm going to take my other tenth and decompose it into ten hundredths. Alrighty, so now that I decompose my ten tenths into, or sorry, my two tenths into hundredths, how many hundredths do I have? You're right, I have twenty hundredths. Now we know that two tenths is equivalent to twenty hundredths. We didn't change the value, we just decompose our tenths into hundredths. Alrighty, you guys, so this understanding is going to be very, very important with the problems that we're going to work on next. Okay, so give me a moment to erase my board. Um, real quick, I just want to let you guys know, or I want to, you know, check in with you and tell you that I hope that I hope that you guys are doing well. I know that distance learning is a little difficult and it's very different from anything we've ever done, but I think you guys are doing a fantastic job and that I hope you guys are doing okay at home and I miss seeing you guys. All right, anyway, um, so what I would like for us to do, um, on your paper, I want you to write the following addition problem. One tenth plus nine hundredths. Okay, I want you to write down the following addition problem. One tenth plus nine hundredths. Remember in the, the problem we just reviewed together, we had two tenths. And we found that two tenths was equivalent to 20 hundredths. That might be helpful in helping you to solve this problem. And there's one more thing that I want to let you know. I want you to solve this using, you know, any way that makes sense to you. Then we're going to go over it. But I want you to put your answer in decimal form. Hmm. So take a moment, you guys, maybe pause the video and solve this problem. One tenth plus nine hundredths. All right, guys, um, so when we looked at the place value chart and we decomposed one tenth into ten tenths and our other tenth into ten tenths, um, we found that um, one of those tenths is the same as ten hundredths. I think I said that totally wrong, but I think you guys know what I mean. One tenth is the same as ten hundredths. There we go. I think that's better. Um, so here we see we have one tenth plus nine hundredths. We can't add fractions unless they have the same denominator. All right, so what do you think we can do to add these fractions? Hmm. Well, we need to make them have the same denominator. And from earlier, we know that one tenth is the same as ten hundredths. So we can just rewrite our addition problem. We know one tenth is the same as ten hundredths. So we rewrite that and then we know we're adding nine hundredths, which gives us the answer of 19 hundredths. Beautiful, you guys. Um, and then writing this in um, fraction form, 
we would write it like this. Because we know that we have one tenth, right? And nine hundredths. Beautiful. Um, and we know that when we read this fraction, or sorry, when we read this decimal, um, we look at the very last place value. The last place value is hundredths. We know that that's the, the value that we're going to assign this number. So we know that it's 19 hundredths. Again, we just read the number like we would normally see it. Like if there wasn't a zero here, if there wasn't a decimal, we would read that as 19. But we know that there's a decimal and this place value is hundredths, so we read it as 19 hundredths. All right, guys. So I'm going to give you um, two practice problems to complete. And this is going to end our lesson today. So let me just write these down real quick for you. And then you will get started. Make sure you have your piece of paper and your pencil out ready to go. Alrighty. So you guys, here are your problems. So you'll notice that you have one problem with fractions, one with decimals. Hmm. Well, we just went over one problem where we added fractions together and then we wrote our answer as a decimal. Um, and this one, you're kind of working a little backwards. You're starting with decimals. Um, so you guys, I want you to explore how you could solve these problems. Um, you might find that you will do, you know, the exact same thing that we just did when we added one ten plus nine hundredths for this problem. So you might go back and rewatch what we just did. Um, but with this one, I'm really interested to see what you guys come up with, how you solve this problem. Um, the answers will be in the description box below. So check that when you are finished and we will discuss this in a Zoom meeting. All right, you guys, thanks for checking in and tuning into the lesson. And um, I look forward to discussing our math lesson with you guys during our Zoom meeting. All right, guys, see you next time.